Welcome to our service for Wednesday in Easter week. Um, we've got our bulletins here, as well as our prayer books. And for those online, we have links for you to follow along with as well. So we'll get started now with our service. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. We may perfectly love thee, worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law, prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Now on that same day, the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these three days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning. When they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us, went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead, as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. He went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. He vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us when he was talking with us on the road, while he was opening up the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told them what had happened on the road and how he had been known, made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. The words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. In many ways, today's reading looks ahead to Sundays, as both are about belief and how we come to believe. Today's Gospel asks to us, what is it that opens our eyes to the Lord? For Cleopas and his fellow disciple, it isn't a mere Eucharistic presence, as some would like us to believe. Now, their eyes are open simply by seeing in action. They have seen their master do time and time again, breaking bread at table with them. Our rituals in our reading of Scripture are designed to do the same. They are there to remind us of who God is and what God says. They are there to help us so that when we encounter the Lord, in any possible way, as with Cleopas and his fellow disciple, we too might recognize God. In this way, we can know our Lord and know when it is that God is speaking to us. And then we, like Cleopas and his companion, can know God more fully as we come into our own belief. Since this is a major feast day of the church, let us stand together and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost to the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory, to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge my baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We continue now with the prayers of the people of Form 3. Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve thee. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons that they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do thy will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in thy sight. 
Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. That the light perpetual will shine upon them. We praise thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people, and what we have asked for faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually, for the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now those who wish to come up to the altar for the laying on of hands and anointing, may do so now. Savior of the world, by thy cross and precious blood, thou hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Do you lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace. Thou I know the healing power of his love. Amen. Do you lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. Amen. Do I anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do I anoint you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you are outwardly anointed with this holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Of his great mercy, may he forgive you your sins, release you from suffering, restore you to wholeness and strength. May he deliver you from all evil, preserve you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who live there, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, bow and obey. Be now and evermore our defense, and make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with God's spirit. And peace to those who are with us online as well. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice.
Our service continues with Eucharistic Prayer 1, found on page 333 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is mm -hmm. right so to do. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death hath destroyed death, by his rising to life again, hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, Lord, and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and sin. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, of us high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, the Lamb of the highest. For glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. Who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute. And in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with thee as thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We must humbly beseech you, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness so safe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body, we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseech in thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we in all the church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. Humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Although we are worthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bound in duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen.
And as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover once for all is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. By Christ the Virgin. Service now continues with the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. 
Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries, the spiritual food and the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and has assured us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us. And we are very conversion forward in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people. For all our hopes are ever through the hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, for all to God end. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.